The BMW M5 is a spectacular achievement because it offers the kind of power that can take on any racetrack and at the same time has an easy, comfortable everyday drive, which of course is what most M5 drivers will use it for. But BMW can add a little hot sauce if you want your M5 with something extra. It's something they like to call the competition package, and as the blatantly obvious name suggests, it's for those who aren't satisfied with the immense abilities of the standard M5 and want something more powerful and more capable. With just a few adjustments, BMW are promising a sharper, more engaging M5. And unsurprisingly, those changes start here. Power's been up from 412 to 423 kilowatts, and they've done that by adjusting the boost pressure of the dual twin scroll turbo V8 in the upper rev range. They haven't, however, said what that does for the 0 to 100 time or how it affects the fuel consumption. But I suppose when you're driving anything with an engine this big, fuel consumption isn't exactly a top priority for you. And really, with a standard 0 to 100 time of 4.3 seconds, there's not much to complain about. There are more important elements of the competition package on which to focus, like the noise and the handling and the power. All of which are excellent. I've always thought that one of the strengths of this car was how well balanced it is. It had just the right amount of power for its 1.9 ton body. But the extra kilowatt count has done nothing to upset the rest of the package. In fact, all that extra top end power just makes the smile on your face a bit bigger. The competition pack helps that cause with a lowered ride height and a reworked suspension, including stiffer stabilizer bars. Combine that with a modified exhaust system, and you end up with a driving situation that has you running the risk of having that smile ironed onto your face for days afterwards. There's so much to take in with this car, from the physical sensations of speed and grip, to the way it makes your skin tingle with its brilliant V8 howl as you approach the red line. That particular aspect is pretty easy to enjoy. All you do is put your foot down and let the seven-speed dual-clutch gearbox decide on the best time to change gear. But there are some other things that require a bit more work. For example, coming out of a corner, you can't just mash your foot on the accelerator and hope the M-Active differential sorts everything out. It requires a bit of finesse. If you're too impatient, all you get is a loss in power as the traction control kills the drive to the rear wheels and the dashboard lights up as it takes a moment to get things back in order. Get it right though and you're rewarded with phenomenal grip and an agility you wouldn't think possible in a car this big. For those who like to drift their way to the office, BMW have tweaked the M mode stability control to make sure it intervenes a little closer to the limit. You may have noticed the wonderfully tasteful gold brake calipers on our test car, but they're not a sure sign that the M5 is fitted with the competition pack. It just means that whoever's driving the car on which you see them has paid 110,000 Rand extra for carbon ceramic discs and is a sucker. I've driven the M5 on track with regular discs and they do the job just fine. Any chance of needing that kind of fade-free stopping power on the daily commute is zero, and if you do need it, chances are you won't need it for too long before your day is ruined by an accident of some kind. For all its performance ability, I just can't help but see the M5 as a very big, very fast lounge suite. Sure, it's quicker than your average sofa, but it's just so comfortable. And my theory is backed up by the fact that this car has a better sound system than most households, and it's more programmable than your PVR. With two fully customizable M modes and a selection of individual settings for the improved steering, as well as the dampers and the engine, operating this car to its full extent is about as easy as finding an aeroplane on the bottom of the ocean. You'll get there eventually, but there'll be a few tears while you're trying to figure it all out. As much as its performance makes this a great car, another reason is this interior, which balances the M5's ability to obliterate just about anything on the road with real comfort. These optional multifunction seats offer one of the best driving positions on the market. The standard spec list is long, and it'll carry five people with ease. Once again, BMW South Africa has gone overboard with the interior options on this test car, although it does make an already comfortable interior completely luxurious. Although combining the rear seat entertainment system with the M5's dynamic talent is a sure fire way to give your rear passengers explosive motion sickness. For 110,000 Rand, BMW will fine-tune the engine and ride setup of the M5. For those who feel the 412 kilowatts and Nürburgring tuned suspension of the original car wasn't quite good enough. The competition pack adds more power, more involvement, and makes the M5 an even more spectacular achievement.
The competition package for the M5 adds a few more kilowatts, but the more impressive changes are to the suspension setup which add real driver involvement. It's epically quick and at the same time usable on an everyday basis, but to really know what it can do, you have to have the right skills and the right venue.